Hi everybody, this is Mr. Ritter, and I'd like to show you how to use your uh, TI-82 calculator. Um, so, uh, we were given this worksheet um, last, oh goodness, uh, almost two weeks ago now, since break, and um, I would like to enter this function into the calculator. So, let's see here, let me just stand up over there. Move this thing over here a little bit. Super. So what I'd like to do is enter this thing in, and um, as long as you know, well, the on button is here, so we want to hit that, and then we'll go into this Y equals button, which brings up this window, and um, I'm going to clear this thing, so I'm going to hit clear here, all right, it gives us a fresh, fresh screen, and so um, right away, I see that I have a negative and a fraction out in front, so... Um, I know that um, I don't want to use this button here for negative. That will give us, give us um, an either an out-of-bounds or an out-of-range error in the calculator. We want to use this button here. So I'm going to hit that. And then now I want to use parentheses. So let me hit parentheses. And um, the reason why we want to use a parentheses is because the calculator, if we don't do this, we'll put x squared down into the bottom. So it will be negative 2 three, two-thirds x squared, with x squared being in the denominator, which is an entirely different function than a quadratic. So we won't want to do that. So um, we have two. Um, this calculator here is pretty uh, pretty old, and the button keys, you almost have to hammer on it. So uh, now I'm up to the x, and the x can be found uh, right here. So I'm going to hit that button. And um, now you can either use the caret, or alternatively, you can use this x squared key, which will put um, that in. Um, I'm going to use the caret key just for fun. So there we go. And uh, 2 uh, plus 4x minus 10. And I'm not sure if the one got in there. No, it does look so. All right, there we go, finally. Uh, all right, I want to see what this thing looks like, so I'm going to hit the graph key, which is right there. And it uh, looks like this thing blew up. So let's try again. Let's refresh. And there it is. All right, so right away, I can see that uh, my function is not going to have any zeros. So I'm psyched about that. I can save some lead and not have to write that down. Uh, I'm very excited. But I do need to find the axis of symmetry in the vertex. So in order to find the axis of symmetry in the vertex, um, we need to use the um, push the second trace key, which allow, the second button allows us to find these, um, use these other functions that are in blue here. So second trace, so second uh, trace, which gets me to here. Okay. To move around in here, I can just simply press the down arrow key here or uh, type in 3 and then hit enter. Um, I'm going to use the down arrow key. and um, uh, I would wish to find a maximum since I know that this thing um, uh, opens downward. We knew that it opened downward inadvertently because we knew that, that A here, this negative 2 thirds, A is less than 0, so we knew that it would... Um, the opening of it would open down. So I'm going to hit 4 here, find the maximum. Okay, now we're always moving from negative infinity to positive infinity in this calculator as far as the bounds are concerned. So I want to find my vertex and I want to use the arrow key to move this little bug here, this little cursor. And so I want to get my cursor close to the vertex without going over. Um, and then I'm going to hit enter. Now I want to find the upper bound. The upper bound is on the other side of the vertex, or the right-hand side of the vertex. Okay. And, uh, now I want to hit Enter. Okay. It wants me to guess, and I'll give it a try. Oh, that looks as good as any. Um, inadvertently, you'll find that, uh, as you probably found out, that only the the left and right arrow keys work um, in these modes, in this mode, in second calc mode. The left and right arrow buttons only work when, on these screens here. So 
I'm going to guess and hit enter. And um, looks like I have a maximum at, so 2.9999, that's relatively 3. So it looks like we have our vertex located at 3, negative 4. We know that the, the value of the maximum is the um, number that's associated with the y, y coordinate of our vertices. So negative 4 is our maximum. All right. So that's great. So, um, so I know my, my axis of symmetry is at 3, and my vertex is at 3, negative 4. Um, we don't have any zeros in this. If we asked where the maximum was, it would be at negative 4. And um, yeah, that's it. That's essentially it. Uh, let's do another equation. Let's, let's do number 8 here. So I'm going to go back to um, our Y editor, which is located right there. So I'm going to press that key. And I'm going to get rid of that thing. And so let's move this where we can see it. So it looks like I want to enter in, uh, oh, I'm just going to clear this whole thing. So 4x squared, I'm going to use the squared button this time, and it looks like it didn't do anything. Um, so I'm going to go here and do second insert. There's no reason to, to delete the whole thing, so second insert, and I'm going to put a 4 there. So 4x squared, now I'm going to arrow over, plus 8x minus 2. Okay, again, I'm going to want to see what this thing looks like, so I'm going to hit graph. And, well, that's not good. Do that for me. All right. All right, so it looks like, uh, ooh, looks like we have some zeros this time. Dun, dun, dun. And it looks like our vertex is down to here. We know that the axis of symmetry is the middle part um, where it divides this parabola in half, it's the value that's attributed to x here, um, the value of x. So if we were to draw a line here, this would be our axis of symmetry. All right, well, first things first. I want to find the axis of symmetry in vertex. So um, again, I'm going to go back here to second calc. So second calc. And um, again, I want to use my um, arrow keys. This time we have a minimum since it opens upward or a is greater than zero. So I'm going to arrow down and I'll hit enter. And now it wants me to ask me for my lower bound. Well we know they're always coming from negative infinity to positive infinity in regards to these bounds. So I'm going to use my left arrow key since that's the only key that works in this mode here. And I want to get on the other side of the vertex hit enter and I want to find the upper bound which is on the right hand side of this uh, function here of the vertex enter it wants me to guess I don't want to guess this time so I just hit enter it looks like we have a minimum at negative 1 negative 6 so our vertex is located at negative 1 negative 6 we know that the axis of symmetry is this value, negative 1. And we also know that the minimum is negative 6. All right, super. So we found a few things. Now I want to go find the zeros. So on this calculator, to find the zeros, uh, we're going to use the same, same menu, second trace, second calc here. Okay. And uh, this time, I want to find a root. So a root, all right, I'm going to hit enter. And now it's going to ask me for the lower bound. Now this gets pretty confusing, just like the other one. However, we always know that we're moving from negative infinity to positive infinity on this function. So I want to use the arrow keys to move our bug over to, um, to above the x-axis here. Since this is negative infinity, and we're heading to positive infinity, I want to make sure that my cursor, this little bug, um, is above the x-axis. So I'm going to hit enter, and then I'm going to use my arrow key to move the cursor over to the um, 
opposite side of the x-axis and hit enter. And it wants me to guess. So I think I said vertex. I made an error. The x-axis here. So we always want to be on the opposite sides of the x-axis. Really don't care about the guess. So it looks like we have a root or a zero at negative 2.22 and zero. All right, found one of them. I can write that down. Now let's find the other one. So again, going back here, second calc. All right, I want to find a root. Same process. Hit the enter. And um, I want to use my right arrow key. Okay, I want to stay below the x-axis this time. Since we're always moving from negative infinity to positive infinity along this function, um, I'm going to hit enter here. All right, now I want to go above the x-axis here, hit enter. It wants me to guess. I really don't care about the guessing part. So it looks like I have another root at 0.224 and uh, 0. So that's essentially how you find the zeros. It uh, essentially just goes second calc here. Um, alternatively, if I wanted to, I could find um, where this function crosses the, the y-axis to find the y-intercept. I can go second to calc here. And uh, this time, uh, we want to find a value. So I'm going to hit enter here. And I want to find a value um, uh, and evaluate this function when x is equal to 0. So I put type 0, and then I hit enter. And so it'll tell me that I have a y-intercept at negative 2. So there you go, more bang for your buck.